it's on him, of course, the reigning champion. So on the inside in the red helmet colour is Espen Yero. Gate number two in blue is Kasper Henriksen. Gate number three in white is, is the Nazar Panitsky. And off the outside in yellow is Angie Gromek. So the inside gate can be an advantage early on here, but uh, once the track settled down, round that outside in the first corner, gate four can work pretty tidily as well. Since the track may just ride a little slick, probably round the inside early doors. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a chase around the kerb, lining up for the shortest route for the uh, first few races, I'm absolutely sure. But uh, Espen Gerald would be happy with gate one in his opening ride. Knows Boyens very well, won his qualifier here. Yeah, tall man, but um, uh, nonetheless, is uh, gaining valuable experience. Got a silver medal, of course, and a Speedway of Nations 2 in Riga. Here we go then, first time of the night, tapes are up, we're underway. Roaring into the first corner. It's that man off the outside, but gate number two, and all of a sudden it's Henriksen who really did come on strong. In Gorzhov with that final position, he came fourth there. He's made a smashing start from gate number two, firing himself to the front. Coming through into uh, second place is Anza Grimek. And uh, Panitsky there in third place as well, but Henriksen looking good in front. Yeah, Panitsky actually quite forceful there, but it uh, looks like uh, Espen Yerold's got back underneath him. Yes, he has for a vital point in his opening ride, but uh, this one all about Casper Henriksen worked hard on that opening lap, opening first two corners, got himself in front. I think in these early heats, actually, to come off gate four and grab yourself two points, Gromek will be happy with that. Yeah, good effort there from Gromek, but uh, no question that Henriksen has hit the front here, made a smashing start from gate number two, has pulled further and further away the longer the race has gone on, through the last corner and starts in fine style. Comfortable win there. So heat number eight, we'll see each rider completing two rides this evening. Second block of races coming to a conclusion. Riders just beginning to settle down on the start line. Off the inside in red is Anze Gromek. Wildcard Jesper Knudsen coming out of gate number two in blue. Gate number three in white is Matthias Polstad and uh, Bartek Kowalski off the outside in yellow. Another opportunity for Kowalski here. Can kick on if he can win this. He can put more pressure on the championship leader. He's just seen Keenan Rube drop a couple of points. It's about the medals, isn't it? It is indeed, and uh, there's no doubt that he'll want to grab silver at the very least here this evening in Voyance. As I say, this is where it all comes to its conclusion. Medals are won and lost here tonight. Here we go then. Heat number eight. Can Kowalski do something from gate number four? Oh, he's a bit in. Gate number two, how well it's working tonight. And Jesper Knudsen absolutely rocketed to the first corner. Kowalski coming through up the inside. It's neck and neck down the back straight. Knudsen slams the door shut in front of Kowalski. Now, can Kowalski work it out? Will he go inside? Will he go outside? Polstad back in third place. But uh, Jesper Knudsen once again running wide. Kowalski's there, but he can't hit the front. No, Knudsen under pressure. He knows Kowalski's there. He keeps putting his wheel in, but... Uh... I've got to say, Knudsen doing a good job out front. And Kowalski now just seems to be settling. He's all his attentions around the inside. He feels Whoa. he's got the bike hooking up. And Knudsen's always got that little bit of extra speed at the end of the straight. But I tell you what, if he gets one complete go. lap right, he's going fast. Brilliant stuff from Kowalski. Sweeps around the outside as they run into the last lap. Exactly what he required. And he is certainly throwing the gauntlet down here in heat number eight. Knudsen trying the run around the outside, but it's not going to be enough. But, uh, number 12, Emil Bruem off the inside in red. Anzi Grimek out of gate number two in blue. Matthias Schienyak, championship leader, gate number three in white. And Petra Schulpak off the outside in yellow. Schienyak's got to keep winning, hasn't he, really? He needs to keep building on the oh, three yeah. points he had last time. He's seen Kowalski go three out of three, so he knows that there's someone there not far behind him taking the chase on. Indeed he is. So, uh, pressure on. Never easy to get over the line when you want to win a world championship, no matter how well you've been going. Here we go, then. Takes a while. I'll tell you what, he's got his clutch hand now because he jumps out of gate number three. Around the outside is short pack, but uh, a terrific start from the world champion, Matthias Schienyak. He's got that first race out of his system and he's back to his best now. Schulpak's in second place. Up the inside now is Grimet coming through into third, but Schienyak in a class of his own here. Yeah, we're seeing normal service resumed. Uh, his second ride and now this ride. Perfect starts, perfect race lines, bikes hooking up, an absolute treat. Schulpak's got absolutely no answer for him, leaving him literally in the dust. And uh, yeah, he looks every bit 
the series leader that he is right now. Now into the last lap then, Sherniak looking like he's going to move comfortably on to six points and, as you rightly say, normal service resumed. He's got almost the length of the straight in front of Schulpak here. Bit of a battle for second and third. But uh, Sherniak wins comfortably, Schulpak back in second place. And um, uh, Emil, everybody will have had four outings. We will then be able to reflect on the point scores and how it all stacks up with one qualifying race to come. Line up for you for heat number 16 with uh, Damien Ratazak off the inside in red. Philip Hellstrom bangs alongside him in uh, blue, gate number two. Gate number three in white is Andrew Kramek and off the outside is William Dreyer. Now, William Dreyer is also having a good night. He's got four points. Now, have I got that wrong? What does that mean then potentially Potentially, Bastian I think Pedersen. he may have another ride. Yeah, he may just get another ride right. there in heat number 19. He may well make the semi-finals. What a night that would be. What a fairy tale story it would be. Well, we'll wait and see exactly how that transpires. Heat number 16, then. Here we go. Green light is on now. Tapes up. Gate number two's worked a treat once again. Hillstrom Bangs absolutely nailed that. Ratishak now coming through. Cool, that was wild in the first corner there with Gromet going all over the place. Dreyer now coming through. William Dreyer into third place with Ratishak holding the inside. Hillstrom Bangs once again. A little bit wild coming out of turn number four on the back wheel. Ratishak just hugging the inside with Dreyer. Still very much amongst it. Coming through now on the outside of William. Uh, William Dreyer is of Ratishak, but Hellstrom Bang set for his first win of the night. Yeah, that'll move him on to eight points, so he's going to have a decent chance of a qualification spot. And uh, Ratishak, what well, will he be on seven from here? He's going to have work to do in his final heat. Well, William Dreyer is coming on very strong. A lap to go. Hellstrom Bang's got it all under control at the moment out in front. Ratishak, who's just hugged the inside throughout the four laps. Just got one lap to go, one turn to go, and Hellstrom Bangs wins his first race of the evening with Ratajak solid. Every chance we're going to see more from him as well. So, uh, heat number 20 will complete the qualifying heats. Big ride here for Keenan Roo. So the lineup for heat number 20 is Francis Goose off the inside, needs some points. Nikolai Helsenberg, gate number two in blue. Gate number three in white is Keenan Rue. Andy Gromek off the outside in the yellow helmet colour. Keenan Rue on seven points here. Um, probably a point. Yeah, Dreyer's in. Yeah, Dreyer looking good for a semi-final berth. So that's uh, encouraging for him. But Keenan Rue, he's in seventh, but uh, he'll want to push on if he can because uh, he'll want to get silver as a minimum tonight, an opportunity for that. It's been a little up and down, but he's had a couple of race wins, the Australian. Can he produce it now from gate number three? Gate two's worked a trick once again, and Heisenberg hits the front. Keenan Rue coming through in second place, but round the outside. Keenan Rue neck and neck down the outside. It's tight going into turn three, with the Australian just about getting his nose into second place. But down in front, Nikolai Heisenberg out of that favoured gate number two. You know where they're going to go for the semi finals, don't you? He's out in front, but Keenan Rue coming on strong. Yeah. Heisenberg finishing strongly, but Keenan Rue had to work hard on the opening lap there to, uh, to remain in second place, and uh, this will do him. This will move him on to nine points. And we can see all sorts of problems there for Grimeg, but Francis Gus can't find a way no. through. He's packing up at yeah, the back, Chris. Is, yeah, yeah he's, he's got trouble, but out in front with a lap to go. Heiselberg's going to finish his evening off with another ride here and, and a fine win. Back in second place, Keenan Rue, that'll do nicely for him. And uh, he's safely through to the top eight this evening. Shame for Francis Gust. His luck's run out there.